All right, we have another video about Kia Niro EV and now I'm at the hotel room. I'm working almost 24 seven while I'm in Korea. But you see now the charting screen. So normally I play music, but this time I'll comment. Uh, I think that's more useful for you guys. So we went to this company called, well, one of our sponsors by the way, a little shout out for them. Uh, they helped me pay for the trip here and for um, accommodation, this lovely hotel room. It's called, <coughs> Um, what's it called again? Dayong Chevy, yes. And they manufacture charging stations. And the one we're charging on right now is um, a 200 kilowatt fast charger. So it can output 200 amp, as you see, we are getting close to 200 amp and um, 1000 volt. So yeah, I mean, I mean, don't get tricked by the 200 kilowatt, uh, you know, branding. Uh, all, I mean, if you plug in, let's say um, a Porsche Taycan, it can take 800 volt, so that would be 160 kilowatt from this one. But as you see here, we only get uh, 69 kilowatt because the limitation is in the well, in the voltage, pretty much. And you see that when we had low state of charge, uh, the volt the the power output was also lower. But now it slowly goes up. Yeah. Uh, this the same thing is with the Kona actually, but in Kona I wasn't able to see the screen. So you see that the little thing under the like the <clears throat> gear selector that is the charging screen. So I also recorded the charging screen. Um, I mean the charging screen of the charger. That's why you have some cryptic um, stuff in Korean. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> after a while that screen will go blank. So <laughs> we only see it a little bit, but it's mostly useful in the beginning, huh? Uh, so you see that um, this is how the battery works, that um, when the state of charge goes up, then uh, voltage goes up and then the power goes up. But we were actually able to achieve 200 amp in the very beginning. And then now it seems to hover around 190 amp only. I don't know why we don't get 200 uh, over time. It's, yeah, The same thing is when we charge at those 50 kilowatt fast chargers, you know, they are rated for 125 amp. but Normally you only get about 110, 115, sometimes 120. You never get 125 amp. Um, but now let's pay attention here. So it slowly goes up and uh, Kona will taper off at 57% exactly. So let's see what happens, right? Because here uh, it will also taper off, all right, 56. Okay, 57, still 72 kilowatt. Yes, but there, 58. So basically at the same uh, point. And then it goes for a little while, but then the next uh, break point will be at 73% or 74. But it, it, it seems like for Kona, it like, uh, it depends. Sometimes it's 73, sometimes it's 74. Uh, so you can see here also, uh, by the way, the play, playback speed here is 10 times um, and again, you see that voltage goes up, but uh, number of amps now is throttle. So, um, um, yeah, I think we can, like, I don't know if uh, Kona or Nero will support uh, the so-called 100 kilowatt, because in order to get 100 kilowatt, you have to get around 250 to 280 amps. And um, the CCS1 standard only supports up to 200 amp. Uh, so in order to get the, um, the higher speed you have to get the CCS2 cable which is um, water cooled and this one is not this this one I was connected to a CCS1 cable uh, but okay there you go and now we, we can't see the um, the charging screen on the charge anymore so after a while that one will disappear but you see the breakpoint here is not at 73 percent there it's at 75 but it's basically also the same, you know, 73 or 75%. And then it goes slower and slower, but still it's, um, it's not like, it seems to be slightly faster than when we were connected to, um, to the 50 kilowatt charger. That could be because the number of amps is slightly higher there. Or I'm, I'm not sure why, but um, you see that, and now it throttles even more close to 79%. So uh, if you travel, uh, and you use these ultra fast chargers, you probably want to stop at 75% uh, 
on Nero on Kona, you want to stop at 73%. Or if you're in a rush, you can stop at 50, uh, 57%. But uh, 57 is like slightly not too high. But now past this point, it's like it's like rapid gate. So it's getting slower and slower. So um, it's not recommended to charge much higher here. But uh, in this video, I will just show you how long it takes. You see, it's been like 50 minutes now. Uh, so um, most of the time you don't want to charge that long, uh, especially if you pay per minute like you do we do in Norway, then it will be more and more expensive per kilowatt hour. And another thing is that other people might be waiting behind you. Some people might have been waiting for almost an hour for you to finish. You're still eating or doing something else. So um, yeah, I don't know what else I should say at this point. Um, and by the way, uh, another correction. Um, I posted on Facebook earlier, right? I claim that um, Nero will stop the fast charging at 94%. That one seems to be uh, wrong because uh, in this video you will see that it charges all the way to 100%, which makes more sense. So actually, it was limited by the charger. Seems like, I don't know what what is up with with um, Korea and 90, the number of 94, but. Um, they set the 94 to be the charge limit on the charger, uh, not on the car. So the car itself can go to 100% on DC. Uh, so a little bit background is that uh, when when we had Ionic, Ionic will charge to 94% and stop there at the fast charger. You cannot charge beyond 94% on fast charger. Uh, the, the old Kia Soul stopped at 84%. And then the new soul also stopped at 94. So that led me into believing that Nero also had a 94% in the car side, but it was the charger side. Yeah. But um, yeah, so, okay, we're getting close to the end now. Um, another thing I will um, you will notice towards the end here is that the, towards 100%, the charging speed is still very fast. And if you if you studied the, the charging, like, um, uh, the charging video for uh, Tesla, you will see that towards the end, the charging speed is like like one kilowatt, two kilowatt, one kilowatt is like really pushing it to the end. And that means that uh, in Tesla, 100% is pretty much 100%. But this one, I saw it in Kona, I also see it in Nero. What, even if you have 98, 99%, it charges at really high speed, you know, like 10 kilowatt or 7 kilowatt towards the end. And that means that uh, there is a buffer on the, on the top. Um, and also another indication is that when we charge with so-called 100%, once I start driving, regen will work. So it means that you can put even more energy in there. But in a Tesla, when you charge with 100%, when you start driving, you have no regen. It will just roll until you discharge a little bit. And yeah, then you can... Uh, region. So um, um, during the the test, the, the range test I did yesterday, I saw that uh, I actually pull out like we would be able to pull out like over 66 kilowatt hours uh, from the battery. And when if you add that buffer on the top, it means that the the Nero battery should be over 70 kilowatt hour. Uh, some indications. I mean, it seems like it's actually. Um, um, it's, it seems to have maybe like one kilowatt hour more energy than Kona. So first, I also claim that um, Nero had the same battery as Kona LG, but it turns out that um, it is SK battery, not uh, the LG. Um, there was some claim also that uh, no, it, it was they were gonna use SK battery and then they couldn't supply it, so they they went for L and for LG, but. Now I heard from my um, uh, Korean friend uh, who is into this and he says that no, it, it is SK. So that could also explain why um, the charging curve for um, for Nero is slightly different than Kona. But it's very alike, but it's not exactly the same. So okay, we are about to end now. 98%, um, you see, still 10 kilowatt at 98%. That is, like, that is an indication that we have a buffer on top. So I mean, why do they have this buffer? Well, because um, it will save the battery. So you can charge to 100% and it's probably like, yeah, okay, they stop now. Yeah, that's the, that's the end, 100% stop. Uh, but why do they do this? Well, to, um, to conserve the, the battery health. So um, if you charge to 100%, it might be 95%. So you don't have to worry about, you know, charging it to 100% too often. 
yeah. But anyway, that was the charging video. I hope it was useful for you. So there will be, I will bomb you guys with more Nero videos. Yes. So thank you for watching and uh, I guess talk to you guys later.